The new class of drug, called PAR1 inhibitors, including the generic drug vorapaxar, lowers the risk of heart attack by reducing occlusive thrombus formation. People with coronary artery disease are at increased risk for atherothrombotic events that can cause heart attack. Inside the coronary artery, a tear in the lining of a diseased artery exposes inactive platelets to collagen and other factors. This causes the platelets to activate, become sticky, and aggregate at the site of the tear. These activated platelets release molecules that trigger a cascade of coagulation factors, resulting in a local thrombin burst. Thrombin is responsible for the formation of a fibrin net that traps platelets and red blood cells, forming a blood clot to seal the injured area. Thrombin is also responsible for activating circulating platelets via another mechanism. Thrombin binds with the PAR1 receptor on the surface of the platelet. This exposes a tethered ligand that binds with the PAR1 receptor. Just one molecule of thrombin can activate multiple PAR1 receptors. This causes the activation of the platelets and further amplifies the cascade of coagulation factors that result in more thrombin, more fibrin, and more activated platelets. This causes the clot to become larger and larger until a thrombus occludes blood flow through the artery. This results in myocardial infarction. PAR1 inhibitors, or antagonists, bind to the PAR1 receptor, preventing receptor activation. Platelets are no longer activated by this mechanism, thereby stopping the amplification process that leads to an occlusive thrombus. The result is lower risk of occlusive thrombus, leading to heart attack.